Right, yes, we were all on spring break. Mm -hmm. You know, the Board of Trustees was not here, but they were on conference call and seemingly stirring up some controversy. Mm -hmm. And now we have live team coverage of the impact on the soda tax in the city. Our Alexis Johnson will tell us about the tax's benefits for the children of Philadelphia. But first, we go to Kelly Antonacci. She's live uh, at Morgan Hall with details on the possible hike in the meal plan pricing. Kelly, what did you find? Right, that's right, Kylie. The soda tax is impacting Temple students in a big way. They're not only having to pay more for soda, but they could be paying more for meal plans after a vote the Board of Trustees made over spring break. Soda tax is pouring money into pre-K programs, but could cost the university $400,000. That's according to Temple CFO Ken Kaiser, who commented after the Board of Trustees voted during break for a 6% increase in meal plan rates, mostly, Kaiser said, to cover those costs. Mayor Kenny, however, was quick to respond, issuing a statement that said the tax is becoming a popular scapegoat for unpopular decisions and that universities across the country have been raising meal plans for years. And that's what brought the hikes to a halt. A Temple spokesperson says the mayor raised valid concerns about the accuracy of the numbers and the university will review the calculation and impact of the soda tax before enacting the meal plan. Students like Bridget Warlea are still worried any increase would put a strain on her family. I think um, it's really ludicrous and I think that it's not fair, especially since we weren't at the table to be able to make these decisions. But TSG President Aron Cohen says the proposed plan is reasonable. So the average student will pay roughly $68 in, in taxes to, due to the soda tax, but you know, if you're on a 10 meal plan versus a 30 meal plan, obviously that'll vary. So we're not charging every student the same fixed dollar amount. So the mayor commended Temple University for agreeing to look into the impacts of the soda tax just a little bit more. Temple Update reached out to Ken Kaiser for a comment multiple times this week, but he's inclined to make one. Now, Temple officials tell me this morning that reviews are continuing, but they have no specific timeline for the reviews. Reporting live from Morgan Hall for Temple Update, I'm Kelly Antonacci. Thank you, Kelly. Now we move to our Alexis Johnson, who has been following.